Last school year in Muskegon Heights included just two weeks of face-to-face -face instruction. 13 on your side, Lakeshore reporter John Mills has more on the district's return to in-person instruction and a new pledge to the school boards the two of them in Muskegon Heights are making to parents and students. There was the normal first day of school excitement and a little more to celebrate here in Muskegon Heights. This school district is starting its 100th school year and it's doing that with in-person instruction. The back to school fist bump is back after a year off. Muskegon Heights used remote instruction for all but two weeks of last school year. The return of in-person instruction is exciting for new superintendent, Dr. Arnetta Thompson. Just ecstatic to be in this moment. Classrooms now have air purifiers. There's hand sanitizer all around the buildings. Masks are required except when students are eating. That's why these dividers are in place in the lunchroom. And Thompson says efforts by the academy system to recruit, retain, and train staff are paying off. We have all the people in place that we feel will help us drive our district to new heights. Students will notice new murals and graphics in the district, like this one at the high school. A depiction of how we want our students to be. As this banner reads, empowering ferocious scholars. In the background, the two school boards with shared control in the district are publicly pledging to work together. Over previous years, the public school board and charter school board weren't communicating. Thompson smiling on the first day of school because she believes that's changing. We can come together as one. This is what it should have been all along. And uh, I, it pains me that it wasn't, but I'm glad we're on board to move forward as a joint unit. And Dr. Thompson tells me that throughout the school year, there will be special events to celebrate the district's 100th school year. In Muskegon Heights, John Mills, 39 on your side.